Hey everyone, this is episode 10. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. So that's why my face looks really pale and really bad. Um, I do have a little bit of mascara on because I had makeup done for the day and I just kind of wiped it off real quick so that way I could do this tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure you wash your face first. Um, Make sure you wash your hands because you don't want to get, you know, all that dirt on your face. Um, and what you're going to do first is you're going to prime. I use the Maybelline Master Prime. Works really well. You're just going to put like a little bit on your finger. You know, maybe about that much. A little bit really does go a long way. I'm going to try to do this in about 10 to 15 minutes. And just rub it in. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. Um, I'm going to try to kind of look at the camera while I do it, but the screen isn't that big, so you might see me looking at my mirror a little bit, okay? You might want to do a little... Um, under here too just because you are going to put a tiny bit under your neck and it dries pretty quick so well mine does anyways um some can be kind of sticky mine isn't so it dries pretty fast um the first thing that i do is i use two foundations um the first one i kind of use as a primer in a way um it's a little bit of a yellowish kind of color just to kind of help keep up with the rest of the color of my skin. I look really white right now because of my light. Um, my umbrella to my light is in my car and I didn't feel like going out to get it. So I look a little bit whiter than I really actually am, if you notice. Usually I have the light turned around the opposite way, but I turned it this way so that way you guys can actually see my face. Um, what I do is, well first I use the Ava Face in Bisque. This is an all natural makeup um the whole line is all natural and i just put a little bit on my hand like this then i take i use a lot of elf brushes because they're really cheap and they work really well um so i just take an elf brush put a little on the brush and just kind of you know pat it around till i get it all off my hand And I'm really excited because I went and got some airspun today because a lot of the tutorials that I've watched, they're using airspun and I want to try it out. So, you're going to put it on your face, rub it in. Sometimes you might need to get a little bit more. Just really depends on, you know, your face. Sometimes I don't put enough and then I have to just put a little bit more. But I think today I have enough. I'm trying to do this quick. And really, like... Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get nice, um, like, looking makeup. I really don't spend a lot at all. Um, like this Ava face, I think it was like $15 and I've had it for, I would say, three or four months already and I still have a good amount left. So as you can see, it's a little bit kind of yellowish. Um, I think you might be able to tell. I don't know. Let me see. Let me come closer. Yeah, It's like a little bit yellowish um, because of, you know, to keep up with my skin color. And I have two of the same brushes. Um, if you look... They're both the same. One I use for the light colors and then the other one I use for when I contour. And this is for like my foundation. And then I also have one of the little sponges. Um, I don't really know what these are called. Beauty blenders or something. This is what I use for when I highlight. Um, and <clears throat> on a lot of the tutorials that I've seen, um, you want to wet it. Because what happens is, um, I don't know if you've ever used like a regular sponge, but it really absorbs a lot of your makeup and then you're just wasting it. So when you wet it, it doesn't absorb all that makeup. Okay, so I do that. I do that. 
then I go in and I highlight. So, oh, this is from e.l.f. It's an underlie, under, I cannot talk today. Under eye concealer. It has white and like a light color. I use both. Um, I'm gonna look at my mirror for this. I go and I do like kind of a little triangle shape. I guess you could say. I'm running out, so I also have a little pencil that I just bought today. I'm going to try out and see if I like it. And then I do a little my forehead. Um, if you have like a little bit of a longer face like I do, you kind of want to do like a round shape instead of just like, I know some people just kind of go one, two, three. I do a little bit of a round shape. And down my nose. Then, what I do is I turn it around to the white side and put a little bit of the white because I have really dark under eyes because I am a mom. And that I just kind of like dot around. I don't really do too much. And then if I have like a pimple or something, I'll use the white on it just because it works a little better. I've been doing my makeup a lot lately, so I've been kind of breaking out, not fun. Then, Beauty Blender. You're gonna just kind of like pat it. You don't really want to rub it too much. I kind of just pat it all the way so it goes out a little bit. I'm really excited to use the airspun after this, by the way. Like I said before. Um, also, I put foundation on my lips so that way when I use my lipstick, it really shows the color. Right now I had lipstick and it kind of stained on there, so I just do this. You can rub a little bit, but... I don't rub too much, I kind of just blot it. And then, to save a little makeup, because some stuff does get expensive, you can do this on your eyes. I rub on my eyes, and it kind of works as a primer after you already primed. I go over my eyebrows too, just because I don't cut my eyebrows, because when I cut my eyebrows, one of them actually has like um it'll look like have you seen those guys that do like um where they like do like a cut in their eyebrow if i trim my eyebrows it actually will look like that so i don't do that all right um i got this pencil by nyc it's like a um you know like a for your under eyes so if I can get this open, I'm going to use that, just because I want to try it out. Sometimes I'll use a brush um, also, but I just wanted to try this, so my hands are slippery from my primer. And because, my baby pipe. Oh, does this unscrew? Oh no, it goes up, that's why. I'm so dumb can't get it off. Here we go. I just wanted to see, this isn't really that light. You have to kind of push down hard, I guess. There we go. Now it's working. It's probably because it was just brand new. I do a little bit down the side of my nose too. A little bit up in my lip. I always go back after I um, contour also, and I do a little bit extra um, because sometimes when you contour, it can kind of, I mean, I'm not the greatest at it because I just started, but sometimes it can kind of like um, 
take away from that highlight. Oh, this one works really good. I like it a lot. How about that? The reason I'm putting it above my lip is because I have like um, a little pimple right there. Alright, so that's pretty much all you're going to do for highlighting. Well, for me anyways. Um, then, this is what I use for contouring. It's Maybelline Fit Me, and I use a color that's like way darker than my skin. As you can see, it's like really dark. And then I go, oh, there's a little spot right here I forgot about. I go and just do a line like that, line like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. A little dotting here, a little dotting there, and then a tiny bit here. Okay, I know that looks really funny, right? Look really dumb. Okay, then I'm gonna take my, remember I have a light and a dark. What I'm gonna do is kind of rub in a circle in like an upward motion. You don't wanna go down, because if you go down, it's going to go like under your cheekbones. So I just kind of rub it like this. And as you can see already, it's already starting to, you know, kind of do the highlighting and contouring effect. And do this side. For some reason, I always feel like one side is higher than the other. That's just me personally, probably because I'm not doing it correctly. Like I said, kind of beginning. All right, we're at 12 minutes. We have like eight minutes. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I forgot to use air spun. Dang it. I'm going to have to use it now, I guess. I don't know if it's going to work the way it's supposed to now. Just kind of rub that there and then do not forget down here because I've actually done that before and I almost left the house like that and it was really funny. I'm using my other brush just because I just saw that it looks really light right there. Okay, then let's try the air spun everybody has been really talking about this so let's see the magic of course I don't want it to spill I always see everybody apply it with their beauty blender so I'm gonna try it like that see how well that works I have the, I got the translucent, translucent one. I didn't get a colored one. I was going to get the colored one, but the translucent, I don't know. I felt like I'm already putting so much on my face that I'm going to do the translucent. So that's what I did. And you're going to put that everywhere that you did contouring. I mean, I'm sorry, not contouring, highlighting. I guess they call this like baking or something like that. Maybe I'm not putting enough. I'm going to try using my brush. I think because this is wet, it's not working that great. There we go. That feels a lot better. It looks a lot better. Now, um, airspun is more for when you're going to be on camera. Um, just so you know, so I don't know if you really want to use it every day. Like, I know a lot of celebrities probably do because they, you know, are on camera all day long. I don't, I mean, they probably have a different product than Airspun, but I'm just going to put a little down there.
because I got translucent, you can't really see it until I really put a lot. There's the air spun. Makes me look really white. All right, next we are going to go to eyeshadow. Um, I don't really know what I want to do today, but I always keep like a tissue or a little towel to wipe my brushes off because sometimes I'll go back and forth between really light and dark colors and, um, you know, if I need to fix something. Um, it's just better to do it that way. So I have the tart. You can see there, I kind of dropped it and broke it a little bit today, so I don't want to move it too much. So maybe we'll just do kind of like a regular nude eye. This is from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's just like a really light color, and that's what I always use for the base of my eyeshadow like um, towards my eyebrows and all that. And this is just like, you know, a little brush that you can really use any brush for this. Cause you're just gonna kinda go like this near your eyebrows. And I will fill my eyebrows in in just a second. And just make sure you do it really soft. You don't wanna press super hard. By the way, I never wear falsies, but I am gonna put falsies on for this. So it might take me a little bit longer than 20 minutes. We're at 16 now, so it shouldn't take me too long to do. I also use this in the corner of my eye, I got, because it just kind of like gives it a little bit of a lighter effect. And a little tiny bit under my eye. Just like that. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I also have the um, Naked Basics. I really like this one from Urban Decay. There's also a color here. This, um, I use this one. Let it focus. There we go. A lot for the same thing. Just kind of going in. You know, for a little bit more of a matte instead of a shiny. Because um, you don't always want super, like, sparkly, shiny. And then when I do my eyebrows um, underneath, I line it with, like, a white. Just, like, right under my eyebrows, not my whole eye. You don't want to do that. Um, so you want to start with a darker color first. Um, I wouldn't say, like, black. Well, unless you're going to do a real smoky eye black. But I do, like, I'm going to do a dark brown. So, if you can see here, I have a dark brown right there, and I do that one first. So, I'm going to have to look down for this, so sorry about that. And, can you, okay, you can see me. You're just going to kind of want to go back and forth. You can do, um, like, a little bit above the crease and at the crease. This is a really pretty color. I don't really know what the color is called because I lost the little plastic thing. Um, don't worry about if it gets on the corner here because we're going to wipe that off later, okay? And this fluffy brush is really good for this. Just kind of going back and forth like that. You don't want to put too much eyeshadow on your brush at a time because if you don't want it super dark, it's, you know, it's going to be harder to get the darkness off. And the reason that I do the light, you know, um, color is because if you really look, you can see, like, the light color right down there. And that will be there the whole time. Okay, we're at 19 minutes. I'm going to try to hurry this up. This side's a little bit lighter. Okay, so once you do that, I'm going to take a flat brush like this 
This is more of like a creasing brush. And I'm going to do just a tiny little bit of black. It's called Crave. It's in the Naked palette. And you're going to do just like the corner right here. And do just kind of like a triangle, I guess, a triangle in a way. It's the best way to really describe it. You guys see me? Yes. Okay, good. You don't want to do too much black at a time because, like, see, I put a little too much on this side, so now I have to make the other side darker. Of course, as I'm saying that, I do it. And it's really going to just be like, if you can kind of see, it's like a block right there. Um, because you're going to blend it in a second. Got to just make this side a little bit darker. Now using the same brush that you did the first color with, you're going to blend with, okay? This brush. I'm gonna go back and blend. Kind of just blend the two colors together. It's gonna give you that like smoky look. It really doesn't take me that long to do my makeup. Um, I know some girls that take like over an hour to do their makeup. It really doesn't take me that long. So now you can see they're both pretty much blended to the same color. I think. Yep. Okay. So then I'm going to take a little curve, like it's like a curved brush kind of. And I'm going to do a lighter brown. Actually, I'm going to do a gold. I feel like doing a gold. I've been kind of in a gold mood lately. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to do that down here. In the corner of my eye. You can see the gold. Sorry, I know I look weird doing that with my eye. I've just been really liking the gold lately. It's in the Tarte palette. I hope I'm saying that right. It's not like some fancy, like, word. Okay, so now you can see I have the three colors on there. I try to stick to like three colors because, you know, if you start doing too many, then it's like all over the place and weird. So I'm going to use that brush. I'm going to put a little bit of gold on it just to blend. And you're just going to kind of go, you can do like little circular motions. You can do back and forth. I do kind of circular when I'm blending. And that light color is still down there a little bit, which is good too. So, I need a tiny bit more gold on this side. You can also just kind of pat it down. Um, I'm not putting a ton on right now because I'm not going anywhere. If you are like going to be going out or something, put like pack it on. Um, I also don't use like any of those sprays to hold it on because it actually stays pretty well for me. Once you do all that, you, I use that one that I told you. It's kind of like a matte color. And I kind of use a lot of it. And I go here just so that it's not... And then I kind of wipe my brush off, do it again. Side because if you can see it's kind of up near my eyebrow, but that's okay. Um, I have really big eyes, so for me, I like that. 
And you can see it's getting a little lighter. Once I do my eyebrows, it'll be able to tell a lot more too. And as you can see, it is blending. Right? Now, I know that it's going past my eyebrow here, so I'm going to show you how to fix that in just one second. As soon as I get this fixed, because it's annoying me. I know, we're at 25 minutes. I'm trying to hurry, guys. Probably really annoyed. I probably should have paused it while I was doing my eyeshadow. But then you wouldn't have learned. See how it's a little bit lighter under my um, eyebrows now? Once I do my eyebrows, it's going to really make my eyebrows pop. Then take that brush again and just kind of fix it a little bit, just a tiny bit, because you don't want too much of that light color. And make sure the black isn't too dark. Make sure it's all blended nicely. I don't know why, but I've just been really liking gold lately. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. It's a lot different than the way most people do them. And actually, really quick, before I do that, I'm going to do my... I use um, by Maybelline Dream Velvet. I'm going to do my other um, foundation real quick before I do my eyebrows. Because sometimes it'll get on your eyebrows and then it's like hard to fix that you know, once they're already done. And again, just put a little bit on your hand. Take your lighter brush. I don't think I put enough, but I'm gonna go here, here on my chin. I love this because it really gives such a smooth finish, as you can see while I'm putting it on. Maybe, you know, I'm not doing this correctly, but this is the way that I do it, and I think it comes out pretty good. I'm going to um, contour my nose in a second, too. And so once I have it, like, patted on, then I'm going to use the darker brush so that it doesn't get my brush dirty, and just kind of go in circles... Okay, while it was paused, as you can see, I just put a little bit underneath on each side and then put a little bit of mascara. I used this Revlon Dramatic Definition and then this Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Extreme. Works really well. I already had a little bit on, so I didn't really have to do much. So um, before I do my eyebrows, I'm going to just take a baby wipe. And if you can see, if it goes past where your eyebrow is, just do a little tiny wipe. So if you're going to do eyeliner, which I am going to do to show you, it can give you like, I guess, kind of like, um, I don't know. It'll show you where to put your eyeliner. And there's just a little dark spot there, so I'm just doing just for me wiping it. Then, really quick, I'm gonna take this brush, or you can even actually just use this, and the part right here where you just wiped, just put a little bit of that there so that it's not like a different color than the rest of your skin. And you can wipe it, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I have this stuff that I got from where I get my eyebrows done, where I get them um, threaded. It's just like this little brow stuff. The way that I do mine is I have a little brush like this. 
I don't use a pencil. I just go in with this and just fill them in. It's pretty easy. You'll see the difference in a second in the two eyebrows. You can already see the difference in the darkness. For me, like I said, I can't trim my eyebrows and do that cool eyebrow thing that everybody does. It really sucks. I wish I could because everybody's eyebrows always look so good. I mean, mine don't look terrible, but still. All right. I don't really like make my eyebrows thicker than they already are. I just kind of, you know, make sure that they're the same that they should be. Like, you know, your eyebrows, both eyebrows are going to be different. It's just everybody has that. I learned that actually in B school. If you can see the difference between both. And then I'm going to go do the other one. One is actually thicker than the other, so I think it's my left one is thicker. Can't remember. Guess we'll see in a second, right? I'm actually not going to shorten this video at all because I really want you to see every step that I do and in detail. This eyebrow doesn't want to cooperate today. I don't know why. See, you can see the difference. It's not cooperating with me. like if somebody has bad eyebrows you just can't talk to them they have to have nice eyebrows oh and nice teeth that's another thing like I don't know if you girls are like you know if you have to have a guy with nice teeth or whatever but I'm totally like that I love like really nice teeth and nice eyebrows even nice eyebrows on guys and then I have like a little brush that sometimes I'll go in like it, like today I think it's because I wiped my makeup off and I'll just kind of brush it a little bit because I had already done my makeup earlier so I think they're just not cooperating as well as they normally would and I just do that and I think they're good in the camera. Yep. Okay, so then I have a I'm going to use the same brush and I have an Estee Lauder little palette and has white in it. Can you see the white? So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that white and I'm just going to go right exactly underneath my eyebrow just to like give like really show off the shape it's really not much you won't even really be able to see it because of all the other stuff I have on but it's really just going to show it off if you can see it then that means you put too much and you can just use your blender brush to fix that
or your finger even. See, now you can kind of, it defines it a little bit. Now, um, eyeliner. I use an Estee Lauder eyeliner. One side is pointy. Let's see if it'll focus. And then the other side is like a flat and also pointy. Oh, there we go. Come on, focus, focus, focus. We're getting tape starting to take long. Alright, so we're gonna do a regular wing. You guys can see me alright. Of course, it's probably gonna come out terrible because I'm doing it on camera. Now, remember when I said that when you do this, it's going to kind of give you a guide for your eyeliner? And that's exactly what it does. You're going to kind of do like a little triangle shape. That's how I do it anyways. It's going to look a little funny until you fill it in. I have to use the other side because that side's kind of running out. I use this a lot. It's a really good eyeliner. And it's really cool because the other side, even though it has that flat part, you can still use it as a thin liner. I don't know if you guys can see me again. I'm just filling in now. And then what you want to do is make sure that that point is sharp. Mine's not perfect right now. There's a little tiny. There we go, it's a little better. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's really sharp like that. We're going to do the other side. I'm going to pause it while I do the other side because it's taking a long time. Okay, so now I have both of my eyes with my eyeliner done. Um, I forgot to put blush earlier, so I'm going to use the blush that's in my Tarte um, palette. And I'm going to go here. I don't rub it in I just blot it sometimes if you rub it in it can kind of like rub off your the rest of your makeup so you don't want that put a little bit up here I'm going to show you how to fix where you wiped off your eyeshadow too so my eyeliner went out just a tiny bit more Now even though you contoured, you still want to use like some blush or if you like bronzer or whatever your thing is, you want to do that.
Right, so then, you see how like it doesn't match with my eyeliner? All you're gonna do is take that blending brush. What do I do with my blending brush? Here it is. No, that's not it. If I can find it, here it is. I'm just gonna take that blending brush and just kind of blend a little bit towards your um, eyeliner. But you don't want to do too much to where it covers your eyeliner, okay? Just kind of... Trust me, you have plenty of um, eyeshadow on there to make it go. If you need to use just a tiny bit, you can... Just a little. But you don't want to do too much. Because you're going to, like have different colored eyes and you don't want to do that. I know it probably looks like I'm going over my eyeliner, but I'm really not. And now it matches perfectly. And then, now, remember that light color that I showed you that I put on the insides of my eyes? That, I'm going to do this with. Put a tiny bit here on your nose. Just a little. A little bit here. Tiny bit here. Because it's just going to like help bring out a little shine. And then... A little underneath. I put a little bit of black and gold underneath my eye. But I'm also going to put a little bit of this and just kind of like pull it down a little towards my cheeks. You can see it's harder to see on this side because the light is more on the other side. But you don't want to put like too much because you don't want it to like be like super bright. And then, to contour your nose, um, I use this one, the one that was like kind of curved, and I just use a little bit of like this darker, like kind of dark brown right there. It's not super dark, but it's a little bit, and I just use a little tiny bit. And just go straight down my nose. And really just rub it in. I broke my nose not that long ago. Well, it's been like four or five years now. So I don't do too much to my nose because you can tell that it's been broken. And I don't want, you know, you to really be able to tell that it's been broken. I know my face looks really shiny, but it's because I have a really bright light shining on my face for you guys. Once I turn it around, you'll be able to see. And I'm just fixing this little bit on my nose right here. This is kind of like the end where you just kind of fine tune a little bit. And then I'm going to take that little tiny brush that I did my eyebrows with and I'm going to just use black and I'm going to put it on like my inner eyelid. Really fast. Kind of burns a little. Because it's a brush. Okay. Now we're going to do our falsies. Try to do this fast. The way that I do falsies, um, I'm, I got these Salon Perfect because that's all they had today when I went to the store. I basically just got them for this. Um, I don't normally have to cut them. They normally are a pretty good size for me. Um, you're going to just get a little bit of your lash stuff and you can put it like even on this or whatever you want I do it that way instead of putting it straight on the lashes and if you can see it's like on that little black spot 
Then I'm going to take a Q-tip to put it on the actual lashes. I haven't done falsies in a while, so let's hope that it turns out good. The reason I use a Q-tip is because I don't want it to glob up and then like ruin my makeup. I'd rather it, you know, be a thin layer. Because you really don't want too much. I know I look really weird right now. My regular eyelashes are really long already. So this just kind of adds thickness. See, it's really hard because I have mascara on already. I should have pulled it off. I know you can't really see. And it's really good to use black um, glue because the black glue is a lot better so that you can't really, like if you have eyeliner on, you can't really see it. Put the other one on. Again, just a cute tip onto them. It dries kind of fast, so you gotta kind of do your lashes quick. Sorry, I haven't done falsies in so long, so if this looks weird, I'm sorry. my eyelash I never curl my eyelashes so that's another problem is that they're really curly and you never want your falsies like you don't want to be able to see them in the corner of your eye like on the inside like you don't want to be able to see that you have them on you know what I mean So, once you get your falsies on, you can see them, um, you're going to want to put some mascara. Because you want them to blend with your regular lashes. The reason I'm going down like this is so that the top of them gets mascara. And you can kind of hold them up for a second. I'm going to use two different mascaras. I'm going to use the two that I told you about. So that you can really see them. And honestly, the falsies that I got, I should have got longer ones, but they really, they had like two different kinds. And the other ones were shorter than my own lashes. I really do have very, very long lashes, so this is really like the same size as my regular lashes. I'm actually thinking about getting eyelash extensions 
So I have super long ones. I think that would be cool. And I already did the bottom earlier, but I'll put a little bit more. And you're just going to go to the other side, do the same thing. I know this video is like probably 40 minutes by now. But I don't normally do falsies and stuff, so it's taking me a little extra time. I guess with the air sponge, you're supposed to like leave it on while you are doing your eyeshadow and stuff. I actually don't know how much I like the air spun. I feel like it kind of made my face a little cakey. Maybe I used a little too much. Or maybe I shouldn't have got the translucent and I should have got the other one. It was like honey beige or something like that. Now if you can see I'm kind of like spinning it out on my lashes. Um, don't pull too hard because if you pull too hard it's obviously going to pull your lashes off. You don't want that either. You guys still see me? That's good. I like a lot of mascara. I don't know if you guys do, but I like a lot. I wish I should have shown you the before and after of my eyelashes. Because really, this just made them thicker. And then, if you want them to look really long, I do have the, um... Fiber lash. So just for fun, I'm gonna use that so that they're extra long. But if you can see them right now, they're really long. With the fiber lash, they have like this gel one that you use first. I'm gonna put that on. Just a real light layer. You don't need a lot because it'll stick really easy. Then the next one is the little fibers. All right, my battery's about to die. So last but not least, I'm going to do my lips. And I have this like random little makeup thing. What I do is there's like this little thing here. I just put a little bit of this around my face. Just kind of like a setting powder, I guess you could say. I'm doing it really quick because my battery's going to die. And I want to make sure you guys see the finished look. Now for lips, I got some new lip liners today. Let's do a red lip. Mm. Should we do red? Yeah, let's do red. I'm gonna show you a cool trick too. So some red liner. I do kind of a thick line. This is Rimmel London. London. It's not going to be perfect. And don't worry about that. On the top? Yes. Because you want to kind of Filled in a little. Okay, see how it like really looks crappy? That's okay. Because you're gonna take your lipstick. These are 93 cents by the way. Wet and wild. I want to show you a cool trick to make it look a little bit lighter. 
Um, I usually just take a Q-tip and kind of clean up around here. If it's like a little too much. Then, you're going to take like a lighter color or you can even use foundation. I'm going to use this like nude color that I got and I'm going to take this foundation brush and I'm going to just kind of get a little bit of it on there. And And I put it in the middle. Mm. It's not that light, so it's not working that good. So actually, instead, normally I would do that, but it's really not that light as I thought it was going to be. So what I usually will do is I will take my Mac Studio Fix. I'm trying to do this quick because my battery's about to die. And I'll take just a little bit of that. And if you can tell, it's a little bit lighter in the middle. Then just clean up around the edges again with a Q-tip. Because when you do that little thing, it like sometimes messes it up. Okay. Alright, there we go. I hope you like it. My battery's seriously about to die on any at any moment, but I'm having fun looking at myself. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like it. Bye! No, I'm crazy. Okay, seriously.